what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Shocking news. O.J. Simpson, who was recently released from prison, was caught in a series of photographs playing golf and relaxing with his family. Now, this doesn't sound like the actions of an incarcerated man. Oh, that's right. It's because he's not incarcerated. He was set free. Free to do as he please, come and go when he wants. Now, one place that he's not welcome to go to is Florida. That's because the Florida Attorney General has said that we don't want you here. She said that OJ would be a burden to local law enforcement and could risk the safety of Floridians. Now let's get something straight out the gate. I am by no stretch of the imagination a fan of OJ Simpson's. When I look at OJ Simpson, I see a coon. When they look at OJ Simpson, they see a black man who got away with murder. That is the only reason that the Attorney General, Pam Bundy, racist ass, don't want him in Florida. You see, she had no problem with Casey Anthony. And she had no problem with George Zimmerman and the countless of other white murderers who lived in Florida. Now, I know that there is some argument whether or not George Zimmerman is all white. Doesn't matter. It's close enough. And the attorney general and the DA and the police department and so many other people rolled with him. That segment of society who feels that they're privileged and they can kill, but others can't kill. That segment of society who feels like this is their America. And whenever there was a black president in office, that was the only time you ever heard them say, I want my country back. Yeah, them. So me making this video, it ain't to ride for OJ Simpson. It's to ride for black men all over the world, but specifically right here in the United States of America because they hate us. Here's what the racist Attorney General of Florida had to say about O.J. Simpson's possible relocation to Florida. Floridians are well aware of Mr. Simpson's background, his wanton disrespect for the lives of others, and of his scofflaw attitude with respect to the heinous acts for which he has been found civilly liable. The specter of his residing in Florida should not be an option. Numerous law enforcement officials in Florida agree with this position. Our state should not become a country club for this convicted criminal. No, your state should not become a country club for that convicted criminal. It should be a country club. It should remain a country club for non-convicted criminals just like you. And Casey Anthony and George Zimmerman. The state of Florida is one of the most corrupt states in the United States. It is in no position to act as though it has the market cornered on morality. Now, after hearing this mumbo jumbo, O.J. Simpson's attorney, Malcolm Laverne, clapped back on Twitter with these words. Florida AG, quite possibly the stupidest person on the planet. Simpson can and will move to Florida. None of your business. <laughs> Florida AG has super low approval ratings, took money from Trump, and looked other way on Trump University fraud claims. Will get beat in primaries. Florida AG had 70 days to comment on Simpson's move. Realized opportunity to score political points, will lose her seat next year. Feel bad for the poor young attorney who had to corrupt their soul to promote Florida AG's political agenda. 
We'll lose next year big time. It's no secret. Everybody knows that O.J. Simpson did not do nine years in prison for robbery. O.J. Simpson did nine years in prison because he was a black man in America who was acquitted of killing two white people. That is why they locked him up. That is why they want him locked up again. Now you'll have those who say, well, why do you always have to bring race into it? That's because in America, it's always about race. Think I'm lying? Watch this. O.J. Simpson is a black man in America. Ray Lewis, black man in America. O.J. Simpson was a star football player. Ray Lewis was a star football player. O.J. Simpson is a coon. Ray Lewis, he's a coon. O.J. Simpson was accused of killing two white people. Ray Lewis was accused of killing two black people. Uh-oh, starting to switch up a little bit. O.J. Simpson was acquitted of killing two white people. Ray Lewis had his charges dropped for killing two black people. O.J. Simpson was demonized after being acquitted. Outcast, ostracized. Ray Lewis had his charges dismissed and he was held in good graces. He was rewarded with a statue outside of the stadium where the Baltimore Ravens play. They embraced him. They welcomed him back with open arms and they love him in Baltimore. Where well, at least that certain segment of society who feels that America belongs to them and them only. And we dig everything you do as long as you do what we say do and you don't get out of line and you know your place. So there you have it. OJ, if I were you, I'd get the hell out of Vegas. And I wouldn't worry about going back to Florida because they got it in for you, man. You don't have a whole lot of options. Not in this country. They want you bad. If I were you, I'd get the hell up out of here. I would jump on the first thing smoking. I mean, think about the Hertz commercial, man. Run, run, run. You know, jump over baby carriages and hurdle over fences, whatever you got to do. But get the hell out of here because if your neighbor in Florida Here's you cough too loud. The police going to be at your door for disturbing the peace. Get out, man. Get out while you can. Because the minute you get out of pocket, your ass is grass. No more talk. What, what the maid is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.